Okay, back at it, back at it again. Now I got my chain on. Two crosses, a dog tag, and whatever this part of it is right here. Yeah, two crosses, a dog tag that says Warrior of God, and whatever this thing is. Um, now I say that to say uh, the Warrior of God part, I got that way, way back, like somewhere in middle school, I think, because that's when I first got this chain. I was thinking to myself. Um, yeah, I got this part back in middle school. I do believe so. I got uh, this cross back in, I don't know, I think freshman or sophomore year of high school. I got this one in junior year right here. This cross in junior year. I got this one freshman or sophomore year. I got this part back in middle school, I believe so. And this part right here, uh, that just naturally came with it. Everything else I just, I just attached. But again, I have no clue what the but this, this that that part of it is, but um yeah back up in the cut back up in this life in the six six two room Mississippi, Greenwood by the way Greenwood Mississippi, so um I don't know if it's gonna be this video but I'm definitely gonna do some promotion for FLVS because like I said ladies and gentlemen don't be afraid to do FLVS if that's what you need to do to enjoy learning I've said it before that's one of the top things that I've definitely been encouraging some kids to do around Nice and around um other schools, but definitely around Nice, because that's my main home base. You know, of course, I want people to go to Nice. I want them to have a great time. I'm the ambassador. I love people. I'm I try, to, try to give y'all my, you know, unbiased, my most unbiased opinions on everything that's going to help you in your future. Uh, but I cannot lie that not everybody has even close to my personality, my attitude, my morals. And some people, like I said, the big point there is that I, I want, but I the common core thing is I want everybody to God first, learn to enjoy school, and I want them to enjoy life, especially when you're this young, like whether you're middle school, high school, especially when you're this young, I want you to enjoy life, I want you to enjoy your school, and I want you to enjoy learning. And in whatever God first way you can definitely do that, you do that. And if FLVS is the route for you, maybe for a few classes, if not your entire career in middle school and high school, you do that. FLVS is there for you, for that backup option. So like I say, you know, um, I'm pretty sure that's all the promotion I can I, I need to give for FLVS, honestly. Uh, so yeah, do what you can to get on FLVS and complete as many classes as you need, whether it's uh, the regular standard required ones or whether it's just extra credit, do whatever you can to get on there and do what you got to do to help yourself make your better tomorrow, make your future, get into college now or, you know, as early as possible and graduate as early as possible or do whatever you got to do to make your future God first, but you want to make your future. And uh, most definitely as well, um, again, you got um, K-12, that is another, um, I think, homeschooling option right there, uh, or the online education option, K-12, you got that, so go look that up don't be afraid to do that as well uh k-12 like i say go look that up i know i've seen the commercials for k-12 quite some times i know i've seen the commercial for quake uh, k-12 sites sorry i know i've seen the commercials for k-12 quite some time on uh tv so go look that up go invest in that like i said go invest in whatever you got first you need to invest in to enjoy school enjoy learning and frolic around the most innovative and clean pure way you definitely got first can in order to enjoy your young life especially when you're in middle school and high school you have such a beautiful blessing with the young life with so much talents creativity and wisdom right there right there with you already and then so much to learn in the future with it all i want you to learn build and grow with it in the most efficient way you got first can because again you all have so much potential so much talent so much wisdom and i just want you i just want you all to you know put it in the right places you know, definitely put it in the right places, put it with the right energy, and just create what you need to create with it. That's going to help benefit this world to the better tomorrow of everybody. Like I said, I hope to go to whatever school they permit me to. I definitely want to work in the high schools, the middle schools, the elementary. I want to work in all of them, honestly. I am not. I don't want to just get planted in one school, which is the top thing, which is why I'm so passionate about being a volunteer, because... I don't need to be planted in one school. There's too many other schools across the city, around the city, and around the state, and around the whole country, and abroad that need me. There's so many schools that you know need me 
And I'm thinking to myself, like, because all these schools need me, that's why I need to be able to be, you know, go to this school for a month or this school for a few weeks, then go to another school for a few weeks. Like, I just, I just can't be, I can't be tied down. Yeah, I can't be tied down to one school. I got too many other schools with too many other kids that I believe that they need me, and even if they don't, because a lot of schools don't need me, but I know that they will still welcome me with open arms, and I still make a great impact because of who I am with my personality and my attitude and my morals. So I definitely believe, like I say, you know, a lot of schools, some schools don't need me. Trust me, some schools don't need me whatsoever. But definitely some schools can definitely still benefit from the extra, uh, you know, advice, wisdom, and support that I would totally give them um, in terms of, you know, getting their growth and development towards a better tomorrow for everybody. So like I say, I mean, I don't, I, I just know that I don't need, to, I don't need to be planted in one school. I need to be able to frolic around and be at multiple schools, but especially the middle schools. I definitely want to help y'all take as much godly, you know, clean sense of a pride in yourselves and your schools as possible. I mean, some of the most important years of your life, if you were to ask me, is definitely your middle school years and your high school years. I mean, a lot of our middle schools have totally screwed up a lot of our middle schools have totally screwed up and again still don't know what they're doing you know i'm not saying i'm gonna walk up in there day one and demand everybody's respect i'm gonna own it i'm gonna earn your respect i'm gonna earn everybody's respect that's how majority of my life for the years have gone i've earned the majority of people's respect if not everybody's respect that i have you know and i just know that you know the middle schools definitely need a heck of a lot of help in terms of moral code, d d discipline, I mean, I don't know, um, in terms of middle school and high school, uh, which um, age groups deal with the most bullying, but I think uh, it starts mostly in the middle, the middle schools, I think so. I think it definitely starts in the middle schools, and, and, my, and for some schools, and for some people, it gets heavier in high school with the bullying and harassment. Uh, I mean, like, literally, nobody should be bullied for their sexual orientation. Nobody should be bullied for their religious views. We should be able to have a organized civil discussion about it all, you know. But like I say, a lot of people have a lot of ignorance, and a lot of people take pride in their ignorance instead of trying to actually get better at expanding their mentalities. And like I say, a lot of parents, God bless the parents, but that's what I mean by a lot of parents, have I think they failed at their jobs because a lot of parents are not doing at all what they have they need to do in order to prep their kids for you know a you know a bright future in terms of having an open mindset and you know being willing and ready to learn and soak up the knowledge and use their discernment of what they need from what they don't and so forth and so forth. I think a lot of you know, and a lot of spirituality, a lot of spirituality involves you know it, you know is is in the is in these equations too and a lot of people just don't you know equivalent that into it and that's another top reason why the school systems are where they are because a lot of spirituality is missing a lot of i mean that's one part of it i mean i want to say it's the center of it the spirituality is the center of it but you have a lot of even religious schools that are, again are still you know trash at, at times with some of their you know their double standards their hypocrisy and etc i mean it's like i say it's you know it's across the board and not just you know public schools even some private schools too but again god first and everything i just know that whatever schools they permit me to work in i gotta do what i gotta do to help clean these cultures up i can assure you this i'd rather die with this purpose than to live without it i can assure you that and that's partially if not the entire way i'm living my life on a daily basis I'd rather die with these purposes than to live without them. You know, I love these purposes. God blesses me with life. I do believe every day to continuously fulfill these purposes and help make everybody's lives better and help teach and preach and expand upon knowledge and learn, build, and grow with people. I mean, I really have a wide imagination, well, a wide mindset mentality and a wild imagination. Actually, I wanted to say wild imagination off my song thought of wild imagination. But like I said before, especially if you, um, Especially for the young, the um, I guess, uh, yeah. Especially for, well, actually, no matter which age group you are, I can assure you this. If you're one of those kids who, like, the school is not a place where you're going to go there and negatively play around and then want to wonder why, you're, again, your life is the way it is. Because like, there's a lot of, sorry, a lot of personal responsibility needs to be taken in our schools. Not, and not just in the schools. Most importantly, Jesus Christ salvation knows it needs to be taken in the home. A lot of our parents, this is why I say a lot of our parents and grandparents 
aunts, uncles, and et cetera. They're just not, I don't think a lot of them are doing their jobs towards teaching us how to take personal responsibility for our actions. And I think that's one of the reasons why you have as many bullies as you have in today's society and as many double standard, one-sided, hypocritical people as you do in today's society because not a lot of people are taking personal personal responsibility for anything they do and say. Some people have the most negative, selfish mentalities, and then they wonder why, again, today's culture is in a cesspool that it's in. It's in a cesspool because you don't take personal responsibility, and you're always being a hypocrite to everything. You're walking contradiction to everything you say and do. And like I said, the evidence is literally right there in front of you. You know, it's not that hard to change it, but people got to be willing to do what they got to do to search true spirituality, you know, find real mentors, find real role models, and do what they got to do, do to innovate with them. You know, one of the top things that God knows is my judge of witness I've been spending, if not all five years, I spent the last two or three years, and he's doing is teaching, mentoring, and showing people how to take personal responsibility, how to care about each other, and how to, you know, try to innovate and listen and Think and think about logical reasoning and et cetera. You know, I've definitely been, you know, took that upon myself, and I definitely believe I did a good job at it. You know, people tell me, oh, you should be a pastor, a preacher, a motivational speaker. Like I say, I mean, I got those qualities and talents. I understand that, but I do, I completely understand. Like I say, to help clean this culture up, at least the way that I feel like it's my calling to do so, I have to be, you know, certain places like the school system, and I have to be in multiple schools, not just one. And I have to do what I can to innovate with each and every child in the most God first, pure and clean manners of which we're going to, you know, we're going to learn, build and grow together. We're going to take those steps towards learning how to take personal responsibility, learning how to configure these and that problems with whatever it is, whether it's, you know, an actual academic subject or whether it's just your personal life. And even with the families, I want to help improve a lot of kids' family lives. You know, I want to definitely walk in and help improve a lot of kids' family lives. I want to help their parents do God first, whatever they need, in terms of whether it's you know, helping pay a bill here, help pay a bill there, you know, and whatever else the parents need me to do to help rebuild their family life. Because, like I said, family life is a strong part of this that, you know, a lot of kids are definitely missing is a strong family life, you know what I mean? Even without a father in your life, you can still end up becoming a pretty, you know, decent person. You know, you just have to, you just have, to have those people to look up to, and a lot of kids don't have those real role models to look up to because they grow up in a community where like i say you know god bless the single mothers out there but the single mothers again they do god first the best they can with however many jobs they have and then you end up seeing you know i mean like but again you know when the what but again when the mother's not around because she's you know working all the time to provide food and roof and etc you know who are the kids you know learning from who are they looking up to and majority of times they're looking up to some of the worst people they can look up to or if not some of the worst people they look up at the people who are somewhat no better than what they are and are not trying to get anywhere you know better you know it's like again it's really it's really so much of a two plus two you know fact factor, common ratio, and et cetera, you know, I mean, a lot of it's common sense, you know, but like I said before, when, you know, the kids, the kids need better role, role models and mentors, the kids need better people around them, you know, the kids, like, and, but like I said, especially if you, you have YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, you can go look up countless sermons, you got church for a reason, you got books, like I say, you know, Especially when you get to a certain age, it's darn straight up to you in certain cases, if not all cases, of, you know, of searching out that prior knowledge of how to do better, how to get cleaner, and how to grow more, you know. Like I said, I wish everybody the absolute God first, one was unashamed best. This is definitely going to be promotion for FLVS, promotion for alternative schooling options, I guess you definitely could say. Because, again, I want kids to, I want everybody to enjoy school, and I want you to enjoy it the most purest and cleanest manner you can. Learn, build, and grow with your faculty and staff and your students. You know, I mean, again, those faculty and staff, they're definitely there for a reason to help learn, build, and grow with you over the course of four years and set you up for a successful future. And I'm here as well, you know. I'm, I mean, I I'm, don't know all of you face-to-face, -face, but again, I'm on these videos for a reason. I got the music for a reason. I hope you learn, build, and grow with me through it all so we can, again, make this better tomorrow together. Because again, I know I'm believing all of you and I know that we can do better together. You know, through Christ, to which who strengthens us, God first, who wants his unashamed. Peace, your boy, the man, NJ to the city out. So, yeah, promotion for FOVS. I want y'all to enjoy school, seek it, own it, conquer it, build on it. Especially, don't put yourself in an option to be 50 year senior. That was my, that was my 
journey. I'm blessed for everything that happened. But trust me, you don't want to ever put yourself in a position to even be a fifth-year senior. I've told people that multiple times. Take care. I'll go into further detail later on. God bless.